Have you ever wondered who eats who in nature? Let's learn about the food chain. We'll start at the very beginning with the plants. They use their roots to soak up water and their leaves use sunlight to make food. So plants are called producers because they produce their own food. Next, we need some animals. This could be a rabbit or a grasshopper. They eat the plants, so they are called consumers. Since they eat plants, they are also called primary consumers. Then let's add a fox or a hawk. They eat the animals. This includes deer, rabbits, cows, elephants, and horses. Herbivores have special teeth for grinding tough plants. Their digestive systems also help them digest cellulose, which is hard to break down. So they are called secondary consumers. If the hawk eats a snake that ate a mouse, then the hawk is a tertiary consumer. And finally, we need decomposers like mushrooms and worms. They break down dead things and return the nutrients to the soil so that new plants can grow. Vultures, hyenas, beetles, and crabs are all scavengers. Decomposers are important in the food chain because they recycle nutrients back into the ecosystem. Without decomposers, the nutrients in dead animals and plants would be lost and not available for producers to use. Scavengers are important in the food chain because they clean up dead animals so that the decomposers can get to work. And that's how the food chain works. Plants make their own food. Animals eat the plants or other animals. Yep. And when those animals die, decomposers break them down so that the plants can use those nutrients to make even more food. Start with your favorite animal and work your way backwards to the sun. Be sure to include producers, consumers, and decomposers. Share your food chain with your friends and see whose is longer. The animals that eat only plants are called herbivores. Herbivores are an important part of the food chain because without them, there wouldn't be enough animals for the carnivores to eat. The animals that eat other animals are called carnivores. Wolves, foxes, owls, and sharks are all carnivores. They are also important for spreading plants around because they eat the fruit and then poop out the seeds. Carnivores have sharp teeth and strong claws to catch and eat their prey. Some carnivores also have keen eyesight to spot their prey from far away. Bears, pigs, humans, chickens, and raccoons are all omnivores. Omnivores have teeth for tearing up plants and animals. Carnivores are important in the food chain because they keep the populations of other animals in check. Some animals eat both plants and animals. These are called omnivores. Omnivores are important in the food chain because they can adapt to eating different types of food. The final group of animals is called scavengers. Scavengers are animals that eat dead animals that have already been killed. Decomposers are organisms like bacteria, fungi, and other microscopic creatures that break down dead things. Each of these groups of animals plays an important role in the food chain. Together, they keep our ecosystem healthy and balanced. So the next time you see an animal, remember that it is part of the food chain and that its role is important for keeping our planet alive. Now it's time for some fun. Can you draw your own food chain?